Zach, what tests would you use to find out if someone needs to get their shift together? What would their test results look like? Good question. When do I shift someone? I will only shift someone if I can get them to, well, I shouldn't say that, but a good rule of thumb is I would shift someone if they can get to a parallel squat or slightly below. Because if you do it any sooner than that, chances are they're gonna lose the stack. Tests that I would look for, usually this would be a loss of just like that last little bit of motion. So you might get someone who has 15 degrees of external rotation at the hip and then you do some moves and you get them to 45 but you can't get them to 60. Or same thing with um, hip IR. Maybe you get only a 10 degree improvement but they still need about 15 more. Usually shifting is about clearing those end range restrictions. And that's what I would do. So if you perform your full assessment, you get some good changes and you're just not getting that last little bit, that's when I think the shift is indicated.